At this point in our run, we've done several hundred episodes of Muscle Car of the Week, and most of them have a common thread, and that is a shot of the car doing a burnout. Uh, but actually, not all episodes featured the burnout shot, and uh, some people have asked kind of how that came to be. So this week we thought we would take a few minutes to maybe tell that story and also showcase some of the burnouts that we thought were either the most fun or the most spectacular on recent episodes of Muscle Car of the Week. So initially, when we first started shooting this show, uh, I was a guy with a crew that had access to this tremendous collection of cars uh, in the Brothers collection, and I didn't want to be the guy that hurt any of the cars. You know, you want to be invited back for a next time, and I didn't want to do anything that put any of these sometimes nearly priceless muscle cars in jeopardy. So if you go back and look at some of the very first episodes of our show, there are cars that we didn't even drive uh, just because I didn't know we had the ability to do so. We were just trying to keep these things nice. So after we aired the first few episodes of Muscle Car of the Week, we started getting some feedback from people saying, hey, that's a great car, but you know, are you gonna drive it? Are you gonna beat on it? Are you gonna do a burnout? You know, that's what these things are for. So I shared that feedback with the uh, guys in charge and they said, well, why not? You know, these cars were famous for doing burnouts and driving fast and drag racing and, and kind of being terrors on the street. Have at it. So with that in mind, um, the people that handle these cars were put in charge and uh, were using their own discretion, beating them up a little bit, still being nice to them, but knowing full well that they could be repaired if anything went wrong. And luckily we've never had any problems come out of it, uh, but we were able to capture some pretty cool shots with some pretty amazing cars uh, doing some neat burnouts. So this week, let's take a look at some of the top five. Now our top five best burnout special is really in no particular order, so we're gonna dive right in with uh, the car with the smallest engine that we're featuring in this episode. It's a 1964 Ford Falcon race car. It's a drag race car, it's called the Termite. And this thing is powered by an angry little 260 cubic inch V8. It set a bunch of drag race records that we tell in the particular episode of this car. And it did one heck of a huge burnout when we featured the car in episode of Muscle Car of the Week number 181. So here it is in all its glory, the 260 powered Ford Termite Racer. Uh, next up in no particular order is a car that we featured in episode number 70. It's a 1970 Chevrolet Camaro featuring an engine that never came in this car from the factory, but was installed by legendary racer Dick Harrell. It's a 454 cubic inch V8 stuffed in a 70 Camaro. We think there's three of these things in existence. This one barely has 6,000 miles on it, but that 454 made well over 450 horsepower and tons and tons of tire smoke. This one's got an automatic transmission, but a positive traction rear end, and it was a total smoke show. So from episode 70, here's the 70 Dick Harrell Camaro. This next car was a crowd favorite from the word go. It's a 1965 Chevrolet Impala convertible. Normally just kind of a giant comfy cruiser, but this one was specially ordered with a 425 horse 396, a four speed and has 411 rear gears. This thing was kind of built to do burnouts. It comes from episode number 224 of Muscle Car of the Week. And uh, the teaser was that we asked people to make sure they stayed through the whole episode because you'll never know what you're gonna see. And this one filled the building with smoke.
This next car comes from episode number 118. It's a 1971 Dodge Hemi Challenger RT. And this car is equipped with a 426 Hemi V8, of course with the dual quads, tons of torque, and an automatic transmission. The Dana rear end was easy to spin, and these tires broke loose and made all kinds of smoke. And this was perhaps our most dramatic burnout sequence. We decided to slow this one down and put some music behind it. Uh, let us know what you think. We had fun shooting it from episode 118. And finally, another small block powered car that had no problem burning the hides from episode 150 of Muscle Car of the Week. It's a 1970 Chevrolet Yanko Deuce Nova. And this one had an LT1350 and it was shot indoors, uh, again with some dramatic lighting to kind of christen the building that will soon become the Brothers Collection Museum. So kind of a neat little teaser there. This car was a lot of fun to drive, even more fun to make tires smoke. So there you have it, five of the most fun burnout shots featured on Muscle Car of the Week. And that was a little tricky to pick because we've got several hundred episodes to choose from. You're more than welcome to go back through and watch them all and list your favorites in the comments section. Next week, we've got a super cool car, a little bit off the mark for Muscle Car of the Week, but we think you're gonna enjoy it. And we'll see you then from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.